Welcome. So this is where we get our water for our garden. <laughs> up that tank and I've been using an inverter and a submergible pump. Unfortunately the submergible pump draws too many watts and my inverter is too small and it keeps tripping. So today I made an investment. I hope that it lasts and works well. Here it is. Harbor Freight. 79cc, four stroke. Does 35 gallons a minute. That submergible pump took forever to fill up that tank. So let's cross off fingers and hope this thing performs the way that I want it to. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I am happy. Woo! Yeah, now it's going to take two minutes. Yeah. All right, we're home. Here's the water tower we have at the end of our garden. So now that I'm home, I've got power. So I'm going to use the submergible pump to pump the water up. Check. So, this will take about a half an hour, but oh my God, saving that time at the stream with that gas powered pump, best purchase I have ever made, at least in the past six months or so. We're gonna wrap that water tower this year and make it into a cute little uh, hut and maybe put a pipe down so we can easily fill it without the ladder. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're in the garden now, and without Mama, none of this would be possible. She starts all these plants from seed. It's mid-May right now, and it's still a little early, so all of our plants are kind of small. I'm gonna show you how the water tower, actually with the gravity feed, delivers a great volume of water at, the, at a very good velocity. The tower is about 16 feet high, and it's got one of those IBC containers on there. So that's about 275 gallons, which weighs about 2,000 pounds. So let's check it out. I hope you guys got something out of this today. Uh, I'm so glad that I got that pump. It makes my life so much easier. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Peace. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where are you?